Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another jump shots video, man. This one is 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 a little bit different, man. This one, uh, all the jump shots except for one were provided by the people on my page, the people in the community. What I did was I went through, kind of testing them out, and uh, you know, you know, we gonna see what it do, man. So um, I kind of ranked them. Uh, we had uh, Mr. Super Ants. Uh, he told me, he said at the bottom, you can see it up on the screen, he says, uh, try 108 and 122. So I did them, I tested them out, and uh, these both are kind of behind the head shots, right? I'm not really, uh, not really fond of them, but um, just because of just because of the slinging or what have you, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wet, just like he said. I mean, it's wet. I can, I, I, I can, I can come out here and shoot it. And as long as as long as you wait until it goes behind his head and uh, you know, right up over the shoulder. I hate this part of the fucking game. Can we get a ball return next year, 2K? Uh, as long as you wait until the ball goes right behind his head, it's like right over that ear. If you can, if you can wait until it does that. It's going to be wet every time, every single time. I mean, it's, it's without equivocation. I mean, as soon as it hit over, as soon as it's over that ear, even when it looks like it's early, uh, you know, it's going to go in. And uh, this is uh, jumper number 122. Like I said, all of them will be down in the description, but we're going to move right along. This was not, uh, I will rank this one the, the, the last one for me. It might be the first one for you, but the visual cue is really good, uh, even, even from behind, you know. As soon as it gets over his ear or over the back of his head or what have you. Kind of like, almost like that Mike Jordan, man. Real good shot, though. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Somebody asked, uh, if I shoot, if I don't shoot off the meter, why don't I turn it off? The reason I don't turn it off is I like to see if, I like to see when I get bullshitted by a green, number one. And uh, number two, I like to see how close I am. Even if you're not shooting off the meter, you can use the meter as a guide. So if you shoot it and, um... If, it, if it's yellow on the front side, it means you were early. If it's yellow on the back side, it means it you means you was late. So you can, like right there, I was early. Um, you know, so you can still use it as a guide to calibrate the lag online. This is jump shot number 108, man. Pretty wet jump shot, too. This is more of a push shot. Uh, you know, shoot it from your chest. Shoot it from your chest, little ass. You know, that's, how, that's, that's what it is, man. It's more of a push shot. I can never really get the timing down on it, though. Um... I don't know if I can trust push shots, man. So that's why that's why it's in in these order in, in this order, man. Um, like I said, I was able to I, I went out there and played a little bit with it on the park. I was able to hit some greens, but it, I, I think some of it has to do with the fact that this player that I play with, you know, I just know I know a lot of his mannerisms and all that a lot too. But like I said, the push shots it's real tough for me to get the timing on. But I know some people swear by it, man. That's why uh, Galinari and uh and uh, High school one, those I can get the I can get the timing on pretty easily, but uh, but this one here, number one hundred eight, it was it was it wasn't tough to get the timing on, but it was just a uh, little bit tougher. Like I said, I'm greening it now. Y'all see that it's on Superstar and all that good stuff, but um, like I said, it's not my favorite, not my first choice. Um, uh, I like a more pronounced visual cue, but I'm sure it'll work for a lot of people. I mean, I'm hitting it, so you know, it is what it is, man. So we gonna we gonna go on to the next one. Uh, just to not waste you guys' time. And uh, let's see what we got here. We got, uh, let's see, uh, Q Will said uh, 114, man. I, I actually liked 114. I mean, it was, it's about the same, about the same deal, you know. Um, but it's not as much of a shot put. This one actually comes right to the forehead, right? So when, you, um, when you're shooting it, you want to release. As soon as you see it hit his forehead, you know, almost like, Almost like the, it, it ain't quite like the Jordan. It's not, it's not quite as quite behind the head as 122. You know, this is like a happy medium almost. That's why I put it where I did. Um, you know, at uh, what what would this be? Uh, I don't even know how many of them we got. But that's why I put it in front of uh 122 and 108 because uh the Q and y'all might be saying it's real close to uh 108, which it is, but it's a little bit different for me. It's just that, that cue is just a little bit different for me, and even on quick, it's a little bit slower. So, uh, you know, depending on how you like your jump shots, it, it is what it is. I think it'll be a real good mid-range jump shot. I just don't know about uh about the three ball, but I guess it's pretty wet from out there too. That's the litmus test for me. A lot of times is just hey, if I can hit it, if I can hit it from the black. But um, like I said, pretty much like high school one. It's not as rigid as high school one. A little bit more fluid than high school one, but it's just as wet. 
is our high school one. We're going to move right along. Uh, Jacob Bigler, you know, uh, he said number 50, number 58. 58, I, uh, I heard a lot about 58, man. It's, it's like one of the, it is definitely one of the quickest shots in the game. And I had heard a lot about it before. But again, it's, it's more of a shot put push shot. So um, it's very good. Don't get me wrong. But uh, not not for me. But um, it, it goes in and it's quick. I mean, and, you know, for somebody like my man, I, I need a little bit of both. You see, I, I'm shooting it late and it's still going in. So, um, I mean, it's almost like Aldridge on quick except for, except for uh, shooting it from the top of his head. He's shooting it from uh, almost like he's shooting it from the hip. You know what I mean? But he's uh, he's shooting it from his chest. So, a little bit of a shot, but shot, shot, put shot. But, I mean, it's... Is going in. That's all you really. That's all you can really care about. Um, one thing I did like about it was that you can be late on it, or your timing doesn't have to be perfect for you to be able to um, hit the shot. You see, my timing ain't perfect, and it's still really a, a close shot. I know my timing ain't gonna be perfect out here, and it was still wet. So, um, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, like I said, I know that ain't going in. Damn, that went in, and I shot that early as a bitch. But you know it is what it is, man. We know how these jumpers are. So, uh, like I said, that one, um, that was a, that's, a, that's actually a pretty good jump shot. Uh, like I said, 58, 58 really good jump shot. Uh, depending on, it depends on the player, though. 57, I liked a little bit better just because it's about the same, but he actually goes over the top of his head with, with it. And that, that was by, uh, Brant Sheffield. He said, uh, you know, try 57. And, uh, it's a little bit herky-jerky, but, hey, I mean, the shot goes in, man. The shot is... The shot is pure. If you can get, if you can get with that little herky jerky motion, almost like the fisherman pole, like a half, like that half cart right motion, man. Hey, as soon as the ball is straight above his head, like as soon as it's right above his head, just, that's when you're letting it go. Um, I forgot who shoots, who shoots like that. I almost want to say Scalabrini or something like that, man. But hey, it's a, I, I can't, I can't argue with it, man. The visual cue up top is so easy, it's so easy to see it. So. Uh, it might work for you, might not work, might not work for you, but the arc on it, see, I don't know if I can shoot it from that deep, though. That's one of the things that I judge my shots by. That's wet. Oh, uh, it's not wet. Okay, if I can't use my limitless range on the shot, you know, I'll be getting mad. There we go. I just have to get myself right. Um, like I said, man, it's almost like he casting, almost like he casting with a fishing pole with that thing, ain't it? But, uh, you know, like I said, Chef, that's a good, uh, that's a good shot. And that's a good look. See, I'm graining. I'm graining that thing now. And it's like, it's like as soon as you see him shake, that's when you gotta let it go. When it's up, and then you see him shake, that's when you can, that's when you let him go. Wet. So, uh, I mean, look, it, it looked ugly. It's not the prettiest shot out there, but it's it's definitely it's definitely viable. Uh, the only thing that, that concerns me about it was the quickness. But I, I think once you get used to that, all is you want everything to be that quick. But but you know, the quickest shot is not necessarily always gonna be the best shot, right? So uh that was uh number number fifty-seven. Sixty-nine by uh, you know, jerkin what his name is, jerkin the <laughs> jerkin Dobine. He said uh try sixty nine. I actually like sixty nine, man. I actually liked it better than um than fifty seven as well, man. It's pretty much the same shot, but you don't get the jerking motion that's a little bit straight up, so you know a little bit more straight up. And it's almost like that Jamal Crawford, man. It's just about like it, but, you know, about the same thing. So, you get to see him go all the way up. To me, it puts me in the mind of Melo, like I put in my very first video. Uh, I like the Melo, the Melo shot. And, uh, like I said, this thing is wet. I mean, it's pretty much straight up, straight down. You see him, once you see him lean a little bit, you just let it go. And the shot is going in damn near every time. I'm not even going to lie to you. So, this is uh, Jump Shot 69. And if you don't know, if you don't know, now you know, player. Let me see if I can get me one more of them things with 69. Because you know 69, 69 was a very good year splash. All right, moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've got a number, I got a number two, my favorite uh, for this week uh, that I didn't tell anybody about. The uh, jump shot number 44. 44 is damn near as quick as Aldridge, but it's got the Michael Jordan Q. So, look, wet. Damn near as wet. It's damn near as quick as uh, Aldridge. But but you got the right over the head cue, damn near like Michael Jordan. So, 44 
I mean, it, it's probably one of the quickest shots out there, man. Um, I don't know if y'all seen it. The only thing I don't like is that wind up. I wish that there was a way to wind it up from your chest. Like, I wish they had one that wind up from your chest, but it doesn't. They don't have one that wind. They don't have a version of it that winds up from your chest. So, so you just got to, you know, you just got to shoot it from there. You see, I haven't missed with it yet, right? That's why I, this is my choice. I mean, right over your head, splash. I mean, it's it's going in. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, I will tell you this. Y'all heard me say it's number two. I will defer to my man, Sorry. Sorry says 73 is by far the most consistent shot in the game. And I said, you know what? If it's more consistent than 44, you you might got yourself some player. So let's let's check it out, man. We're going to check it out. Oh, I hate to be taking, taking up y'all time, man. But uh, he says 73. And uh, I agree. I'm not even going to lie to you. That's why it's number one on this list, on this fan-made list of the ones that, that, that nobody knows about. I mean, I, I don't even have to get a warm-up with this thing, man. Look at that. Oh, okay, maybe not. Uh, it's as quick as Aldrich. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You don't. It, it takes a, it takes some getting used to, but it's it's just as quick as Aldrich. I mean, it is super quick, and you can get that thing off. And uh, the timing is in front of his forehead, is what it is. I'm thinking it's behind his head, but the timing is in front of timing is is uh, that's when you want to let it go when it, when the ball gets in front of his forehead, not when it gets over the top of his head or anything like that. What's up, LJ? When it gets in front of his forehead, that's when you want to let it go. And uh, shooting it from that deep, I'm hitting hitting pretty good. But you see his green inside inside of the uh, inside of here, that shot green, man. Every single time, you're not gonna miss it. And uh, you know, not shooting from not shooting from super deep. Look at that. Even though I was late, still splash it. It was super deep. Y'all see LJ want to get in the picture, man. I'm gonna take one more of them things, man. Look at that. Spl okay, I ain't splash it, but uh. It is definitely consistent. I would say uh, once you get the little timing down with it, I mean it is definitely one of uh, it's definitely the top jump shot on this list. But like I say, 44 is right behind it, man, to me. But uh, I don't already talked for 12 minutes, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. But I am out of here. That's okay. That is okay, LJ. It is okay if I talk too long. But I am out of here. Till next time. Okay. Look at that. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's okay. Champ. Hello! 360 out this mug, man. That was so fucking epic!